discuss this matter later. So, Cold Pursuit. This is a movie with Liam Neeson. It came out in 2019. And, you know, I'm a big fan of Liam Neeson. You know, he's a, he's a great actor. He's, he's in my, like, at least, like, top 30 favorite actors of all time list. He's in there. So, you know, I love him in, like, Star Wars as Qui-Gon. I love him in Taken as uh, Brian something. I forgot what his fucking last name was. I mean, he's trying to look for his daughter, saying, Where is she? I just love, I love every time he says that shit. It's, like, hilarious. He even says it here in this movie, Cold Pursuit. But... The thing is, between Taken and Her Cold Pursuit, is that Taken was actually great. This movie fucking sucks. Those are two different stories for those two fucking movies. And I'm going to explain why I fucking hate this movie. Now, this all starts off with Liam Neeson and his son just come home to some dinner or something. And his wife, uh, Liam Neeson's wife in the movie, played by... Uh, what was her fucking name? That she was playing Star Wars: The Last Jedi. She had the fucking purple hair and shit. Hold on. All right, I just looked it up. It's Laura Dern on Google. I just looked it up. Laura Dern, Bruce Dern's uh, sister or daughter, or whatever the fuck it is. I think it's. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, yeah, her, his daughter. Okay. Just I said to watch it. Look it up real quick. See. Just because I'm like a fucking idiot. So, uh, let's talk about what the fuck happened and why I don't fucking like this movie. So, it starts off with Liam Neeson and his son come home to the cabin, and his wife is cooking or something, whatever the fuck it is. And the son wants to, like, borrow a car for work or something. So, he goes off to work, uh, and these fucking, these thugs kidnap him and drug him. Well, they inject him with drugs in his fucking, his back or something, where he, his ass, his ass crack. And he, he tries he try to get away from them, but they don't catch him in, in any ways, regardless. Next day, they take him out of the van, and they place him in a chair with shades on. And I'm supposed to think that he's still alive. Well, no, he's not still alive. He, his body tips over after they make, they're like buddy-buddy with the fucking guy. So his son's dead, and Liam Neeson and Laura Dern go to... Uh, the service to see what the fuck happened to hit their son. So this one scene, well, when they, Laura Dern and Leonison visited the, uh, the son's dead body, they had a stupid, stupid uh, joke about this bed thing and the, the dead body of the son's laying on, and the doctor keeps kicking it up and up and up. This goes on for like uh, thirty seconds or something. Make it like a joke, so I, I, like I'm supposed to fucking laugh at it. It's like it was really stupid and it's pointless to even put that in the script of the movie. They should have just cut that part out. That was really fucking dumb. And I thought this was supposed to be a serious movie. Putting stupid jokes like that in here, like it's a South Park episode or something. So the doctor tells Liam Neeson and Laura Dern that the son died of an overdose, and Liam needs to be like, "What? Why don't they do drugs?" What are you talking about? Well, it says right here he does drugs, so, uh, sorry, sir. Well, that's not true. He never told me he does drugs. Oh, well, he should have just told him to get off drugs then. So, next scene, Linus decided he wanted to kill himself. I blew his brains out with a rifle. And this guy in the refrigerator is like, oh, scared it out, decided to tell him what the hell's going on. Like, he, he like he's like a fucking fucked up gremlin or something, that guy hiding in there. So, the guy knows how his son Kyle died. So, leaves and grabs him and puts him to the wall and be like, Where is he? Was it true? That actually happened. He didn't end up saying it like that. So, next scene. But yeah, this one, this one gets really good. So, well, for now. Oh, yeah, and uh, the bad guy's name is Speedo. <laughs> Speedo, really? Well,. I actually knew a guy named Speedo who likes to just jog, jog around the fucking streets and shit every day. And he's like a really wrinkled old man. So I heard, I heard that name before, so nothing really new to me. Even though it's still a fucking stupid name. So Liam Neeson goes to the, the disco club and he finds where Speedo is at. So he like meets the guy in the fucking elevator. 
Speedo immediately doesn't even know who the Kyle is. So then he started beating the shit out of Speedo and then murdering him. And then uh, Speedo tells where the next guy is at, who knows who killed his son Kyle. Is this guy who sells wedding clothes, I guess. The reason they always have this this uh thing pops up about rest in peace Speedo or something. This uh, yeah, the, the, the reason they they have that they pop, it pops up saying rest in peace Speedo and shit like. We don't really fucking need that either. Pop it out on the screen. We've seen the guy fucking dead. We don't need shit like rest in peace to the guy. Fuck that guy. And trust me, they do that, to, they do that the whole movie. Every time someone dies, that, that it pops up saying rest in peace to that guy. He's dead. Every single time someone dies, it pops up. That's another thing they should have cut out of the movie. Besides the other stupid, other stupid joke thing. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, Lena is supposed to be a truck driver or something. And he does like a lot of snow plowing and shit. All fix the roads and all that. He's one of those type of people. I forgot, I forgot what the job's called, but whatever. I don't fucking care. I care about this fucking action, mostly. Then the next scene is about this, the main main villain of this movie. He's supposed to be this dorky beta male guy. I mean, of course it is. Why not? He, he's, he's like a fucking pussy, the way he looks. A fucking wimp. He, he, he walks like a fucking penguin, too, and he looks like a fucking penguin. Also, he has this little fucking son, and he had these bodyguards who take care of him, and all this other fucking etc. bullshit. And, do I like him as the villain? No, but, and yes, because I don't like, I don't like beta male, so I'm glad this, he gets fucking killed at the end. But, we'll, we'll get to that sooner or later, we'll get to that scene. Right now, I'm talking about all this bullshit. So one of his bodyguards tell him that Speedo's missing, which he's really fucking dead. So, and I hate the way he fucking talks. He's like, me, 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 All I hear is like, rah, rah. That's all I hear that out of that motherfucker. A penguin sound. That's all I hear out of that motherfucker. And he's dating like Daisy Ridley in real life. Oh, he's dating that shitty fucking actress who played Rey from Star Wars. Oh, that makes his life even more better, doesn't it? Ugh, whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. Now, they have these other pointless characters in here. These two cops. One's a female, and one's an old fart man. And this is making it like it's Fargo or something now. All of a sudden, now it's like Fargo. Now we got two cops in there. It's like Fargo. Do we really need these characters in here? No, we don't need these characters. Somehow the director thought it was a great idea to put these type of characters in there, though. More pointless characters. In movie, like the movie already started, I, I'm like, I don't give a fuck about these fucking clowns, these fucking monkeys. I don't care about these fucking people. 24 minutes in the movie, I, I think I really fucking give a shit about these people. I don't. And like the old man was telling her, don't be like Dirty Harry or or whatnot, and making Dirty Harry references. Whoop de doo. Sound like a better movie to watch than watch this horse shit. Than watch a fucking Fargo remake. Like one of the uh, the chicks is a cop, played by Emmy Rosam, and I heard that name somewhere else. I think she was in other shit, if I remembered. Uh, she was in oh okay, Dragon Ball Evolution. She played that shitty character. She played Bulma in fucking Dragon Ball Evolution. Okay, that makes a lot of sense why she's in here. God, that movie sucked. I might get that some other time though. I'm gonna talk shit about that movie soon. Well, let's continue with this shit. So, so now back to Liam Neeson. Thank God, he's like, you know, making his sniper rifle a lot shorter by cutting off the uh, the tail of the, the sniper rifle. He cuts that off the uh, a saw and shit. So he's sticking stick in his fucking uh, coat. So he, he goes to the wedding uh, store. He walks around all chill, hiding his gun. Then he like he talks to the uh, the pink suit wearing motherfucker who was the uh, the, the bad guy. So with the wedding guy, the secretly tried to grab the gun and shoot him, but Lee needs to dodge this shit, and then he pulls his fucking gun out. And he, like, he bitch slaps him with it. Like a little fucking bitch. Then he fucking breaks his fucking teeth with a sniper rifle. You know, this is pretty fucking cool. I, I like this, how, how this is going. You know, he, he fucking murders him, too. He's like, blows his guts out everywhere. He, like, blows him right into the fucking wedding clothes covered in blood and shit. Which I thought was pretty badass. Then another boring scene comes up with the fucking penguin main boss looking motherfucker talking to his Indian ex-wife about this and that, about their fucking son and shit. 
about the divorce papers. I don't really give a fuck about this shit. I care about this fucking whore, his whore ex-wife and his fucking ugly penguin face. I don't fucking care. Then showing the fucking kid eating fucking fruity pebbles with the the bald fat motherfucker. I'll get to him later. I'll talk about that that character later. And then they're talking about fucking bullshit about fucking football eating fruity fucking pebbles, which is pretty funny if you think about about fruity pebbles. Uh, like I said, I'll get to that later. Okay. Then next scene, Linus is in his big ass truck chasing this fat fuck and this uh, orange jeep driving in the snow. Linus then like pulls him over. He goes to talk to him. Then he smacks his head in the wheel. And all of a sudden, next scene, he's already on the ground, all fucked up. And Linus is like on top of him, not sexually, but after he's beating the shit out of him, he's all tired out. He's all tucked or, tuckered out. After like beating the shit out of the the big fat guy, he would still want to tell him who's the main guy who set up Kyle to get killed. He said, you're wasting your time, and he started laughing at him. At least he got pissed and started laughing, and then he blew his brains out. And he just killed him. He's dead. Then he rolled him up in, uh, I don't know, a rug and threw him over the fucking cliff or some shit. So I guess Lenny's wasted his fucking time on that shit. So then Liam Neeson comes home, and Lauren Dern moved the fuck out of the house. She's not there anymore. Um, I, I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck happened. She just left. That's that's all. That's all they're gonna say. She 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 never shows up again. She just she's just gone throughout the whole movie. Okay, then what's the point of even putting her in the fucking movie in the first place? You're not gonna have it there anymore. You fucking dumbass. Ugh. Like, why would we even make a character and they're not gonna be there anymore? So she's not even in the movie anymore. She just she's just gone. She just took her paycheck and was left. That's basically that's basically what fucking happened. She just took her paycheck and left. Wow, uh, uh, great job, great job, director. You you know how to write a fucking movie on this one. Then the next scene, Lee Neeson go visit this this old friend so he can tell him where his son's at, where he can find who fucking killed his son. And he had this annoying fucking Chinese fucking bitch. And I'm surprised Liam Neeson didn't cuss her out and shit because I, I guess he want to do that because he want to piss off his friend I guess but whatever I also cussed her out anyways I don't think no shit for nobody you know fuck it because you know me I'm not gonna let no bitch walk over me like that I'll tell you that I let no bitches walk over me and the motherfucker looks like a fucking walrus that's what, that's what his fat friend looks like he's like a fucking fat walrus <laughs> that's what he fucking looks like. And he tells him that he needs to hire a hitman if he wants to take this guy out. Why he needs to hire a hitman? Lee needs to get fucking do it himself. Why he needs a hitman to go do it for him? That's stupid. Let Neeson go do what he's fucking doing. He did it throughout all the half of the fucking movie. He had no fucking problem killing these fucking guys. Why he need a goddamn hitman? It makes no fucking sense. Why does he need a goddamn hitman to take out a fucking bad guy? He killed so he killed like three fucking guys already. He don't need any more help. He can do it himself. Like what the fuck is this director doing? See, this is this is where the director's brain started to have a malfunction problem. Like, he, like I think he let a fucking monkey finish the fucking script or something because seas just went fucking bonkers. Yep, yeah, this, this is the part. This is the part that gets really fucking stupid. Okay, here we go. I, I'm gonna tell you what fucking happens. Okay, here we go. Already another pointless scene where this I don't know this fucking womanizer guy wants to bang a waitress. Who gives a shit about this piece of characters? I don't care if some guy wants to get fuck some fucking slut. I don't care. Why I care about some guy fucking a waitress? This is what I mean by this movie. Is all these pointless fucking stories. So they could have just cut all this shit out. It would have been like an hour of 35 minutes or some shit. So I guess this is not Liam Neeson's movie anymore. This is about this penguin motherfucker now. Like we really give a shit about this character. Only I care about is this guy getting fucking murdered. That's it. This movie should have been 100% Liam Neeson. All right, so it was mostly about this guy going around murdering people. That's what should have been all been about. He should go run around blowing people's brains out with a fucking sniper rifle. That's it. That's what should have been the whole fucking movie. But it's not. No, no. We got all these stupid, pointless fucking stories. I give no fucking shit about. I don't give no, don't give a fucking piece of shit about. So I guess fucking. Uh, the penguin kills one of the Indian guys named Baby Hawk or something, 
And now, here we go, new characters, the, the, the Indians, or the Native Americans, whatever you fucking call them. Now, more pointless characters comes in. Oh boy, more pointless characters. And the dumb pointless cops and guys throwing up, ever seen a dead guy body hooked on the fucking sign and shit. <sighs> like, we really, really, really need all these characters in this movie. The pointless cops, the pointless Indian people. We don't need these fucking characters. Should we just leave these in the penguin guy? That's it. He, he just fucking goes to the house and murders them. That should, that should have been the whole fucking movie. It would have been like an hour 30. At least an hour 30. We don't need all this fucking bullshit, all these fucking circus fests. And he, had, and he had this pointless Liam Neeson scene where he's at the bar drinking and then he leaves the bar. Then Amy Rossum shows up. She gets out of her car and said, I'm sorry for your loss. And he's like, thanks. And she just, he just walks away. What the fuck? What? Is that even necessary to even leave that in there? And again, another, another stupid scene where the, the cops are having a talk about the murders and stuff. <laughs> That's the whole thing. Just talk, 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 talk. If they just talk through the whole fucking movie, that's all I hear is just talking. What happened with the whole Death Wish stuff? What is all this bullshit? And somehow people still love this fucking movie? This movie sucks. Like, the, the beginning was awesome. It's just all about Liam Neeson murdering people. That's just should have been the whole thing. But no, you gotta have all these extra fucking people in here. Extra bullshit. So let's get to this retarded uh, hitman scene. So he gets in the taxi car with the hitman... Talk to this black hitman guy. Yeah, he's black. So he, look, he looks like um, the guy from Mad TV. I forgot what his big ass googly eyes. I forgot what his fucking name was. Oh, Orlando Jones, I think. So he gets in the car with him. He talks to him and shit. Then they get in this fucking apartment. Sticks a gun to his throat, telling me if he's a cop or something. Like that's not that's not really a cliche thing at all. So then Lee Neeson pays him the money. But guess what next happens? You, you might think I'm fucking retarded when I say this. The hitman shows up to the the penguin's house and starts telling him about Liam Neeson hired him to kill him. What? You might ask? You think that's fucking retarded as hell? Yes, it is. You're right. It is pretty fucking retarded, isn't it? Wow. I never heard... That. That's that's pretty smart, isn't it? I just go, go to some other guy's house and ask for some money... For more money, so you can go murder Liam Neeson. Oh, that's that's pretty fucking smart. And guess what else happens? He gets fucking murdered. The closest shades, and they fucking kill him and tell him to get off the fucking carpet. Wow, what a smart hitman, isn't he? Yeah, this guy's really a fucking genius, right? Wow, uh, that was the most greatest writing ever. The greatest fucking writing ever. I'll play the fucking p piano to that shit. You know, that was fucking great. How about Liam Neeson just go to the man's house and murder him his fucking self? Stop listening to this fucking walrus guy. Just go to the fucking house and just kill these people. What's so hard? You get to kill these other three people. Just go over there and kill these fucking people. Like, what the fuck's the point of all this shit? Like, what? What? Alright, here we go with this scene. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, God. So, the bald fat guy... And the guy in the goofy fucking curly hair decides to fucking kiss each other. The two guys kiss each other. I want to see two Fruit Loops kiss each other. That the that's the point I was about to turn the fucking movie off. I, I was I was like really furious. I didn't want did not want to see that shit. Is is the a, a fucking gay guy or something? Is he fucking gay? Probably is. I guess he wants to see a, a bald fat guy and a curly skinny flick motherfucker kiss each other. And they're both, they're both like eating fruity fucking pebbles. Because they're both fucking fruity. Oh. God. I, I was so pissed. I wanted to turn the fucking movie off of that shit. I was like, alright, that's it. Fuck this shit. Uh, I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I always turned it off right there. But I, I want to continue going and see how retarded it gets. And guess what? It gets even more stupider. And more boring. Then next scene of... Uh, the fat Wallace guy is outside doing some fucking Chinese artifacts or something. His slut fucking bitch of an Asian wife is doing these yoga moves and tell her tell him to do this and do that. Like he's a little fucking bitch. Like this guy's a fat beta male. He lets his wife bossing around like he's a, a fucking slave. 
like he's a, a communist slave or something. Like, be a fucking man and tell her to fuck off or something, man. You don't need that bitch in your life. Like, what the fuck are you doing with her? Fucking softy. Good thing the penguin guy comes and fucking murders him, so he got away from her now. So, thank God. Then more boring scenes with the cops again, with fucking Bulma, the cop. Hmm, this doesn't this look skippable, does it? This looks skippable to me, does it? Yes, it does. I'm skipping this shit. Which I did. And then more boring scenes with the Indian tribes. Ah, uh, I don't care about their past lives and what they did 30 years ago. I don't care. It's about it's, it's the whole thing. They just that's how they do, fucking do. God, maybe just call it the Indian Tribe movie instead of Liam Neeson's film The Cold Pursuit. I would just call it the Indian Tribe film instead. Because these characters does not belong in the story. This is all bullshit. I don't care about these fucking characters. Look, if there's no John Redcorn in here, why do I care? If John Redcorn is in this movie, then I would fucking care. But, fuck it. I don't care about these Indian characters. I don't care. I don't care about the fucking cops. I don't care about these other fucking people. I don't care about the two two gay dudes fucking sucking each other's dicks. I don't care. Can we just get rid of these fucking characters and just talk about these two characters? No, no, we're not gonna do that. We gotta make it like a, a, a two hour film by adding all this bullshit in here. Just make it fucking stupid and drag it. And like, Lee Neeson just gives up on like fucking going to kill this guy. He just, he, he just gives up for a while. That's the whole movie. He just gives up for a while. And all of a sudden, he does something else, which I'm gonna explain soon. And there goes another scene, once again, another dragging scene. The head, this guy's, the penguin guy is taking a bubble bath. With his rubber bath toys, his rubber ducky, <laughs> his fucking SpongeBob, the square pants. Like, I don't care if he takes a fucking bath. I don't care if he fucking washes his ball sack. Talking to his Indian ex wife in the fucking bathroom. Ah, oh, God. Make it stop. Make this movie stop. Then Lee Neeson shows to the fucking house. He's looking at binoculars at, his, at their house, trying to look what's going on in there. How about, how about you just go in there and fucking kill all of them? Can you just do that and just end the fucking movie already? Please, please, Liam Neeson, just, just do that, please, for the love of God. Just just go in there and just fucking kill them. But of course, no, he doesn't, because the director wants to make a movie as long as possible. He just, he just scouts. He just scouts the fucking area. That's all he does. He, he don't even care about going in there and killing everybody. He doesn't even care. He just scouts the fucking place. And, and now we get another, now we get another scene to get tortured with more talking until that guy gets fucking murdered by a penguin. The the uh, the fat gay guy's partner gets killed. My my mistake. Oh, well, so long. We went a good thing. We haven't seen old dick sucking on, on the fucking screen. Thank God. But it took like twenty to thirty minutes later until Bulma the cop shows up to talk to Liam Neeson about the whole Kyle situation. His son. So the Indian folks shows up to the Penguin Sun School like they're going to fucking murder him with a taser and shit, or I don't know what they're gonna do, kidnap him and then murder him or something. And Liam Neeson also shows up to, to, to capture the kid also. Like, he's the, the next Taken villain, I guess. Taken 4, Liam Neeson turns to a bad guy. Or something. So they can drag the story even more longer. By kidnapping the son. And then, he, then he reads him bedtime stories, which I'm not fucking joking around. He reads him uh, the Bearstein Bears story or something. That's why he fucking reads him, Bearstein Bears. I'm not kidding around. He he reads, he reads a bedtime story for bed. Like he's the, his new father or some shit. What the fuck is that? And they had more stupid scenes where the penguin and the, his ex-Indian wife shows up and they're bitching him out their son going missing and they he, he beats him up and all that. Ah. <sighs> And the next scenes about these Indian folks driving a car, going to beat up this fucking, I don't know, this fucking rapist of a guy who sent the motel ready to fuck uh, this lady who cleans rooms and shit. Lemon pledges rooms. So they go beat the shit out and they kill him, blah, 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 blah. And they laugh at him as small dick after they kill him. More pointless scenes, blah, 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 blah. Indian folks show up to the motel, thinking the lady's being racist to them, and they say they want to report her to the uh, manager and shit. Oh my fucking god. 
So yes, more fucking bullshit scenes. Like I said, what, what was going on with the whole kid that Lee needs to capture, reading bedtime stories, like I said. And next scene, they had the stupid scene with the Indian folks goofing off while the Indian guy's flying on this fucking kite or something. Like, I supposed to just laugh and enjoy myself watching these fucking idiots act like circus clowns. <sighs> What's the point of this? You know, I, I still don't understand why I haven't turned this off yet. I, I, I don't understand before I, when I watched this. I don't know why I didn't turn it off. I guess I want to see how more dumber it gets. And it, it gets like dumber and dumber and dumber every time I keep watching this movie. Like I said, I feel like they, they switched the, the writers. It, it went from Stanley Kubrick to a fucking monkey in a diaper. That's what it went to. A, a senile fucking monkey took over the fucking writing of the movie. That shits his fucking pants in five every five seconds. Like, what the fuck happened? Well, why went from just being Deaf Wish to, like... Shitty, chitty, bang, bang, or, or or whatever the fuck you call it. What the fuck happened? Like, really? Then he's riding in his fucking plow fucking truck with the little kid, and they're enjoying themselves. Yay, I have a good time! I'm not having a fucking good time at all watching all this boring bullshit. And this old man tells him there's a lot of cars at his place, and he, you know what that means. The penguin's looking for his son there, and she's ready to kill Liam Neeson. Well, that doesn't happen. Well, let me explain what happens. So, Liam Neeson goes, tells the kid to hide in the cage and tell him that you gotta be saved and be there, all that other bullshit. So, he goes hiding under the, the car in the, uh, the garage in his deep hole. And he's looking to try and be careful so he won't get caught, which he still does because he doesn't even see the guy go behind him. And he gets caught by the guy behind him and grabs him and pushes him with the uh, fucking penguin. The penguin talks to him and shit. Or he wants to be ready to fucking murder him if he's looking for his fucking son, son and shit. Then the fat gay loser decides to the, become a traitor and, and rat out the penguin guy. Tells the Indian folks where he's at, so he, he gets fucking uh, uh, murdered by these people. So the, the whole big old gang war happens, and they'll get in the fucking fight with each other, doing monkey shit at each other. Well, really snowball shit, but whatever. And everyone gets murdered. Fucking Leenison drops a tree on the fucking man's car, the penguin's car, and he kills him. Well, he doesn't die till like hours later because I don't know. It's fucking movie logic. So he dies, he had more scenes with these stupid cops, like his Fargo remake. This, this whole movie's like Fargo. It, it went from just being Death Wish in the Snow to Fargo. Like a, a shitty version of Fargo. With goofy fucking stupid jokes of bullshit. Then the Indian guy gets in Leonis' fucking boulder, fucking plow truck, points the gun at him and saying, tell him to go or whatever. I don't even care what they say anymore. Hell, I could make stupid shit up and say they fart out of their mouth when they talk. They, they just make fart noises out of their mouth when they talk. I could just say that. That's how fucking stupid the story is anymore. I, I said so much I really fucking give a shit anymore. I don't I don't care anymore. It's, it really sucks. So, Lena stops the fucking truck. And the, the man's like, w what are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing my job. So he opens the fucking thing. Makes it makes it, the road open instead of closed or something. And then they still driving and talking, and then this Indian guy flies down on his kite and gets killed by the uh, was it truck or something? Or whatever it is, he gets he gets fucking he gets murdered. That's it. He, he dies. And our stupid joke, the people would probably laugh at the ears like fucking morons. So they think that's hilarious. And the end, it's just, that's, that's the whole fucking movie. I just played every fucking stupid shit that happened. Somehow, people love this fucking movie for some reason. I don't know why. Because it just went from just being a really badass film just to a really lame, stupid film. Full of stupid, shitty jokes. Like, what the fuck happened? Like, really, I, I, I was enjoying this fucking movie and all this other stupid shit comes in here. It, it was like... 
Really? Really? I like I was bored out of my fucking mind. I was like falling asleep. I was grossed out when I saw two guys kiss, which I didn't want to fucking see. I, I was going to get. I wanted to break this fucking computer when I saw that shit. <sighs> like I was pissed. You you should saw how fucking pissed I was when I saw that shit. I, I wanted to really turn that shit off or see that. I was really pissed off. Cause I thought that I thought that that fucking big guy was like straight. What fooled me? I, it got me fucking gross the fuck out. <sighs> fuck. I just wanted one good goddamn movie. Just one good other Lee Neeson film to watch. That's all I want. But this whole movie wasn't even about Lee Neeson. It's about the Indian tribe family and the penguin. That's all the other half of the film was about. It's only like 20% of Liam Neeson in the film. I mean, at the uh, begin middle of end of the film. I, I don't understand. I don't understand the director's direction in this film. I don't understand. This whole, this whole, this whole film should have been 100% about Liam Neeson. That's what it should have been about. Oh, God. I need, I need to drink some, some booze or something, man. This movie is just fucking awful. It's too much extra bullshit in here. There's just too much shit going on here. That's what it is. There's just too much shit going on. <sighs> Fuck this penguin. I, I, I'm glad he got killed off. Even though it was like the stupidest way ever. He, here's my way. Like I said, ever he like murders the fat fuck that's like... Well, yeah, the fat fuck he murders. And then he talks to this fat walrus about Hitman. And he should have said like, Fuck that Hitman shit. I'm going to go kill him right now. And he should have ignored the fat guy. Go over there and kill everybody in the house. There you go. The end. Movie's over. But no, no, we gotta have scenes with Bulma the cop and our old rusty pervert pedophile cop. And they have these two fucking fags kissing each other. Eating fruity pebbles. Because they're fruity. And we have these other fucking scenes of these Indian tribes doing fucking uh, Native American shit. All that other bullshit. We gotta we got have all those in there instead. Big old circus fest. I'm really surprised that gang war wasn't a snowball fight. If they had a fucking snowball fight, I wouldn't be like, fuck this shit. Catch you later. I would turn it off right then and there. I, I swear to God, if that happened, I would have fucking turned that shit off so quick. Because that, that, that's, what was, that's what I felt like that was going to happen sooner or later in that, this whole movie. I thought like that, that gang war was going to be a snowball fight. I'm glad, I just, I'm glad it wasn't. I would have got so fucking pissed and just turned the fucking shit off. Hell, I man, I just throw the computer out the fucking window of that if I saw that shit. Ah, <sighs> fucking stupid movie. Next time when someone writes a movie, leave pointless characters out of the fucking film. Jesus Christ, I just want just want Liam Neeson to just go around murdering people. I I don't care about these fucking characters. I, I don't. They, they suck. They're boring. 